team, David Ben Falhir, Rod and Rifle Magazine, we have a scope for review. The Acura Tracker 3 to 18 by 50 objective lens. Uh, this is an economy scope, and as you can see, it's kind of got a. It's not uncommon to see 3 to 18, but uh, in an economy scope with low profile turrets, it's kind of in that little hybrid y uh, zone there. So I decided to do something a little bit different with it. I decided to shoot a precision rifle competition with it with a team at Sparrowhawk, New Zealand. Now, precision rifle basically involves shooting a series of targets at range under a time limit uh, and shifting positions in between um, the various serials that you've got to do. So it's a really interesting mix of accuracy, precision shooting, and uh, your positional shooting as well. So it's a great test for an economy scope. Wasn't sure how I was going to go with it. I don't shoot a lot of competition these days uh, with a busy sort of family life. Uh, but this is my first stage here. So the scope was zeroed the day before, as I said, has very basic low profile turrets. So then we've got 80 minutes uh, of angle on them. Um, the scope, the glass is very clear. The turrets responded well. Uh, and I was very keen to see how he went over the competition here. I have to say it did produce some pretty good results. Uh, it, there was no faults whatsoever in the way it operated. Obviously, with turrets like that, uh, they're not designed for this kind of competition, but it certainly gave them a good workout. There was a lot of uh, stands where I did have to change the information on the elevation turret. This stand here was a really good test for the turrets because uh, after each shot, you either have to adjust for elevation or hold over to get the correct um, to get the correct drop, because each target is at a different distance. First, going further away, and then once you reach the furthest target at uh, there's maybe five five hundred meters odd, then you have to come back towards you. So the turret was adjusted. However, I do make a fairly basic mistake on the way in which you will all see soon and have a good laugh at, no doubt. 100%. Well, and the riverbed at the bank. The one to the left of the first one. Three quarters to the left of the first one. So with PRS shooting, it's supposed to be smooth and fast. And as you can see here, anyone that shoots PRS, none of my shooting here is really smooth and fast. But as I say, I haven't shot a lot. And uh, definitely having spare magazines or high capacity magazines as a bonus is you won't have to sort of single load as I'm doing here after I've fired off the uh, four shots that I have uh, in the magazine and one in the chamber. Where's that one? I can't see it. Could you dial down? Oh, you fucking... <laughs> 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah, that speaks for itself. So as I'm coming, as I'm shooting the nearer targets, I'm supposed to adjust the turret, uh, which I didn't do there, which create caused that miss. Unload and show clear. So uh, that concludes the range day for the uh, Acura Tracker review. Uh, had an absolute ton of fun today. Uh, the scope handled really well. The turrets are really good. They're not long range turrets. Um, so they're just standard turrets, no zero stop or anything. Uh, and they handled the corrections really well. So from straight out of the box, uh, a quick zero and then information out to kind of five, 500 meters. Um, we placed equal 10th out of 25 shooters today. So, and I've got to say anything, any target that I missed would have been missed uh, due to, to my own fault, not for, not for anything that the scope did. Uh, it is an economy scope. Um, so the glass is, is good for the price, but it is economy glass as well, if you remember that. Uh, but the specifications of the Acura track are really interesting. 3 to 18 is not a common standard scope size that you'll uh, that you'll see so it was a lot of fun to have that extra magnification uh, the times 50 objective lens I mean the light conditions you can see they were perfect today uh, but the you know the, the the scope gathered light really really well um, so fantastic buy interesting scope interesting features uh, I had a ton of fun today if you're interested in PRS shooting or any kind of long-range shooting uh, it's get in touch with Nick and the team at Sparrowhawk uh, it's www.sparrowhawk.co.nz and uh, they're more than willing like this comp today was geared up towards newer shooters so if you want to uh, just sort of learn how it's going then um, you know and get and, and get your foot in the door then everyone's really friendly everyone's really helpful um, so yeah get in touch with those guys uh, they're based down in Fairley uh, in the Mackenzie country in the South Island